All right, hi, I'm Christopher Dent, and I'm here to give you a quick demo of my, uh, my new app built with Rails, uh, Association Volunteer Manager. I'm just doing another video. Uh, I did one for school already, and it was 18 minutes. Um, might be a little too long for some of you who just want to see some of the quick features of the app. So that's what this video is for. I'm going to try to keep it under five. So as you can see, I'm logging into the app using the admin account. Here we go on the landing page. Welcome to Association Volunteer Manager. You've got your actions down here, and uh, they're at the top too. That's, that's more useful later on. Um, you can add a volunteer. You can view all the volunteers. You can add a group. You can view all the groups, and you can view all the statements of expertise. You can also view and edit the system users. Now, some of this functionality is limited if you're not an admin. I'm not going to go into too much detail on that, but when you are an admin, you can do everything I just said. A non-admin can come into the app and can view things, um, but they can't really create, edit, or update anything like that. So anyway, quick demo. Um, we'll start with view all volunteers because I've got a few dummy volunteers in here. Well, not really dummies, but I've got some uh, example volunteers in here already. This is the list of everybody I've got in the database. Um, in practice, this could become a long list, so I'm gonna add, I've added some filters. You can filter it by the group they're on. So quick filter here, and you've essentially got the group roster in front of you. Yep, there we go. So back home, I'm gonna show you how to add a volunteer. Uh, who do we want to add today? Oh, Jimmy Carter. Let's go with the presidential theme. Jimmy at whitehouse.gov. White House retired. Government. Um, it adds new people as active by default. And you can upload their CV at this time if you choose. So I'm adding a fake CV. See, it's just any PDF. You can also add them to a group as you're uh, creating them if you'd like to. So go ahead and add Jimmy to Bill's group. There we go. And then you've got Jimmy's profile. You've got his name, email, organization, sector, status. <laughs> because we added a CV, you've got the view CV option. The file we uploaded is now saved to the database. Um, you can also, from this view page, you can also sort of add the statements of expertise. <laughs> we'll get to that later. First, I want to show you guys the groups functionality. So very similar to the volunteers index, this is the groups index. It lists all of the groups that we've got, active and inactive. Um, you can add a group. It's the same thing as adding a volunteer, really. So different fields. Um, you got the name, the program. You can add a chair, a chairperson for the group, if they are an existing volunteer. If they're not, you can always go back, add the volunteer record, and then um, update the group to include the chair later. Uh, and then you would choose the type of group, of course. So back to all groups. I'm going to show. Let's go back to Bill's group. This is the group's show page, and this is probably where uh, most of the logic in this whole app lies. You've got quite a bit going on here. So you've got Bill's group. You can edit it if you're an admin. Um, you've got the basic stats up here. I didn't add a program for Bill's group. Um, if I did, and you know what, let's do it. Spit on that. Update group, and there we go. And then the members of this group who have previously added are down here. You can easily remove them. You can remove Jimmy Carter, just like that. Bye bye, Jimmy. Uh, if you want to quick add somebody who's in the database already, this drop down will allow you to do that. Jimmy did want to be in the group after all. There we go. You can also add a brand new volunteer to the group. So this drop down lets you choose from existing. This form will let you add a brand new person to this particular group. That record will also exist in the volunteers index page, so you can do anything else you'd like with that volunteer. This is just the shortcut to add it, basically. And you can delete it at the bottom. Um, not going to do that. Get a little warning. Last piece of core functionality on this page is the email this group function. Um, I do want to add reporting to this app at some point. It doesn't have reporting yet, but I was thinking to myself, one of the main things we use reports for is actually just to get an email block. So I figured let's, let's take care of that problem. We can just email everybody straight from this group page. Email this group. We'll bring up an email, blank email for you, with those people's email addresses in it. See? That's that. Uh, I think that's pretty much it for the group show page. 
back home. So we've got an index page for the statements of expertise as well. All of the ones that I've added are showing up on this page. Again, it would be a lot to go through normally, so I've added filters. You can filter by group. You can see just the people in Bill's group. Now, obviously, there was also Jimmy. We haven't added a statement of expertise for him yet. If we had, it would be showing up here. You can also filter by volunteer, and it'll just show you a list of uh, that volunteer's statements of expertise. Now, there's one statement of expertise per volunteer per group. Um, it, it's the thing that kind of links the volunteer with the group. Uh, it's optional, but they should have one. So going back to all volunteers, I'm going back to Jimmy. We're going to go ahead and add a statement of expertise for Jimmy. Now the only group Jimmy's in is Bill's group, so that's the only option we get. I'm a former president. Add the statement. Boom. We got Jimmy's statement of expertise right here, and of course it'll be up here too. Um, I will filter to find it more easily. Yeah, there we go. And these lists, of course, in practice, these lists will also get pretty long. Um, so easy way to sort through them, just a tip, just start typing the person's name. Just type WI, and I got to Elizabeth Windsor at the bottom there. Uh, the final piece of the app that I'm gonna show you in this quick demo is the system users page. Pretty, um, pretty simple, this is just the, uh, the people who are using the system. Um, it's broken into admins and other users. As I mentioned earlier, admins can create, read, update, and delete items in the, uh, in the app. Non-admins, the other users down here, they can just view things. Um, final thing to mention is you do have OmniAuth in this app, so you can sign in with Google if you don't want to create your own account the old-fashioned way. So that's pretty much it. Like I said, I wanted to just make this quick demo to replace the 18-minute demo I did for school. Um, hopefully this was informative for you guys. I hope you all liked my app, and feel free to let me know if you have any questions or comments. Thank you.